Hi, and welcome to the video where we will show you how to manage leads in Zoho CRM. You've logged into the CRM and are viewing the Home tab. The leads that you will view on the Home tab are generated from different sources. These sources include trade shows, email campaigns, web forms, cold calling, and direct marketing. The Home tab is showing various pieces of information about your leads. The first chart is showing you leads by source. The next chart shows you your lead nurturing stages. You can tell from this chart which leads have been contacted or not contacted, as well as which leads are marked as junk and which leads have been qualified. The next chart is sales by lead source, which tells you exact sales gain from each of your lead sources. During your campaign, if you maintain a spreadsheet, you can always import that spreadsheet directly into Zoho CRM. You can also always go into the Leads tab and manually enter your leads. A third way is to use our Zoho Business Card Scanner app on your iPhone or Android phone. You can take a picture of someone's business card and the system will pull the information from the card and directly create a lead in Zoho CRM. We've already covered lead importing in a separate video, but I'll briefly go over it one more time. This is the required layout for a spreadsheet ready for import. Notice row one is for your field names. The field names include first name, last name, phone number, etc. Look at the mandatory columns. These two columns must have data in them for the import to happen correctly. Now go ahead and save the file as XLS format. Now go back to Zoho CRM, click on the leads module, move to the top right, and click on the Import button. Since all of these leads are for yourself, keep it on the Import My Leads option and then select the file. Before you import, you will have three options to prevent duplicates, skip, overwrite, or clone. If you are new to the system and do not need to check for duplicates, choose the clone option. If you are concerned with duplicate records, Make sure that you have a column for all of the email addresses for each record and that you have those same email addresses in Zoho CRM. By choosing Skip, if the system already sees that email address existing, it will not add the lead again. Overwrite is convenient if you want to update records that are already existing. If you choose the Overwrite option and the system recognizes the same email address, it will place the new information on top of the old information. Choose the correct process and then select Next. Now go ahead and map the fields. Once you're done mapping the fields, click Next and verify that all of the columns have been mapped, then click Import. If you're looking for more information on how to import a spreadsheet, take a look at our introduction video. To see your recently imported leads, navigate to the Leads tab and click on Today's Leads view. You can also create workflow assignment rules to automatically assign the leads to sales reps or users during the import. For example, one rule could be that you assign leads by region or by zip code. Once you set this rule, during the import, it will recognize the fields and automatically assign it to the correct user. Let's go back to the spreadsheet and discuss the overwrite option for import. The overwrite option lets you mass update records in the CRM. For example, let's update the state field from the full state name to the state abbreviation. Go into the spreadsheet and update the cells. Now, save the spreadsheet as XLS format. To use the overwrite option, make sure that you have a column for the email addresses. Now go back to the CRM, click on Leads, and then click on Import. Select your file again, this time, under Duplicate Records, choose the Overwrite, click on the Email option, and click Next. Map your fields, click Next again, and make sure that all of your columns have been mapped, then click Import. What you'll see on the next screen is the number of leads have now been updated. If you want to look at this list, all you have to do is navigate straight to the Leads module, and this time choose the view for Recently Modified Leads. Now let's go ahead and click on one of these leads. Scroll down on the page and you'll see that the state name has now changed from full name to the state abbreviation. One best practice is to send a follow-up email to your leads after you import them. To send an email to your leads, you'll want to first create an email template. 
To do this, navigate to the Setup section first. Under Customization, choose Templates. Click on New Template, choose the Leads module, and click Next. Now that you're on the email template page, make sure that you put a subject for your email. In this particular example, you would want to send a brochure outlining your new products to those leads. Make sure you add the attachment to the email template and then type out your email below. If you wish to use any field from a section in Zoho CRM, you can choose those fields and then place them in the template itself. In this example, I'm using the lead's first name and last name to personalize the email. Now click on Save. Navigate back to the lead section. Make sure that you are on the correct view showing your recently imported leads. Select the leads that you want to send the email to and then click on Send Mail. A pop-up window will allow you to choose the template. Select the template and click on Send. In a matter of minutes, your mass email has been sent to these leads. I hope that you found this video helpful.